Good afternoon. Uh, what we're going to do today is just do a preview of Britannica School Elementary for elementary students and seeing how you could access this and how students could record their favorites in their own account, which is very useful for research. So for example, as a student, they might have been assigned a project that they need to look up animals, do some research on animals. They need to pick a particular animal. By coming to this site, they could go to Animal Kingdoms and possibly do some browsing just to get some ideas. A student may look at these pictures and, ooh, I do kind of like maybe African type animals. Let's Maybe I could explore it by Africa. Oh, habitat, not really location. Perhaps wetlands? I'm thinking more hippo, possibly. The nice thing about this is the student can actually start to look around and get some ideas. Well, if they're not sure what they want to research, at least it starts to get them moving forward and thinking. So I did find hippopotamus. See a little blurb here, Eastern Africa. Exactly what I was looking for as a student. I hyperlink through hippopotamus and I get to the main page here. You have your article information related to that. Picture, nice little blurbs. I really like these. Um, Britannica tends to have little pieces of snippets of information that are um, interesting. They'll also have images that I can see down here if I want to make them bigger. Of course, I just go like that. This here, of course, is a video. You could even view the larger image here as well. Very visual based, <clears throat> which is really nice. All right, now, like any web product, uh, hyperlinks abound, and that's true for this resource as well. For example, I just hyperlinked it linked with mammals. Students want to know mammals. Again, you have your interesting little blurb with pictures. I got more videos or pictures, images. Here's my video with the play button. Well, that looks interesting. All right, I get to think about vertebrates as opposed to non-vertebrates. Oh my goodness, brain cells. And then looking at the brain of the cat. And now I'm into a video as well. We all have experienced this. Rodents, what are they talking about with rodents? And here we're down another trail again. So other than the typical standard, which many students will use, and it's totally acceptable, I do it all the time too, uh, you can backspace. But looking at the internet products, and this is, uh, we're obviously we're not on the Wi-Fi, we're using the database, but hyperlinking, oh my goodness, you know, we all have experienced that. You're just, your curiosity and interest can take you anywhere, and then sometimes it's hard to get back to where you need to be. So the main resource here or for this uh, screencast is really to look at how to organize information or as far as capturing it for future use. So students, and you want to teach students students do this so make it easier for them to find information. What they can do is they can make a favorite. For example, this was the article I liked. I could save it. I need to log in in order to use this feature. If they've never logged in before, you need to log in using the sign up. It's a very easy process. You need a username. I'll just say uh, first initial, last name. Actually, that's not my last name. Well, I've already signed in once by myself, so I want to show you how to do this. We'll do K Jones. Uh, my password, you know, cool. I'm just putting cool. Whatever. The student needs to make sure they're using something like optional email. So that's great. And you don't need the school code as well. So you just say OK. Ah, that's true. It can always happen with, let's just put 12 in there. All right. So they've successfully, or we've successfully set up a login. It's very basic. I'm not at a school right now and I was still able to do that. And the nice thing is now under my content, when I log in, I'll be able to save those things. I should save something so we can see that. Um, let's go back to save something real quick. Kind of out of there. I'm not going to worry about getting all the way back. Let's just do something that I can save. We'll just go into fish here. Anchovy. I never thought about looking at them, just I think of those as pizzas, that's okay, I might want to come back to that, that's pretty cool. They can create their own collection, like I, this could be my read later list, no time, but I want to definitely save it in there, and it's added, okay? I can go then to view all my favorites, 
and I have a read later button. There's my anchovy. Looks like Bengal Tigers I had already done as well. And my content is right here. So when students sign back in, they have that available. Awesome resource.